Hi everybody, this episode is about Asheville, North Carolina. What a great place. Waterfalls, parks, and trains. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time there. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks again for watching. Hi, I'm Sandy. And I'm Ed. And this is General, our totally awesome water dog. We used to live on the Outer Banks of North Carolina, but one day we found both of ourselves unemployed. So we decided to take a chance. We sold everything, bought a trailer, and left to explore America. We're learning as we go along, but we still make mistakes. But we get a lot of things right too. So come join us as we learn to RV full time, explore America, and share in our exciting journey of discovery. Our, our next adventure, adventure is just over the hill. hill. Well, the Arboretum, uh, my thoughts on the Arboretum is it was, uh, I love nature and things like that. It might be not your cup of tea, but uh, both Sandy and I really enjoyed it. And uh, It was free to get into, and General was allowed to go with us, so that was a major plus for that. Yeah, it, it was. It was, uh, it, it's really kind of family oriented, and they're okay with, you know, if you're, if uh, your child happens to have a lot of fur, uh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we did enjoy that very much. Uh, they had uh, places for kids to, to have a good time. Model train set, that was really cool. Walking trails were awesome. Yep, and uh, they had uh, vines, uh, like a covered bridge area you could walk through. Um, it, it was a very pleasant experience and lots of trails as Sandy already pointed out. Oh, you bite my fingers. don't actually bite hard. I guess they don't have teeth. Oops. <laughs> Their beaks feel kind of strange though, like they bend a little bit. Yeah. Oops. We are at Looking Glass Falls. And this is a very popular spot because it's right on the edge of the road. So there's like almost no hike to get down to it. Getting closer. So we got done looking at Looking Glass Falls and we didn't take General with us because all the cars that were parked on the side of the road, it was just really busy. Um, so when we left the falls, we just went down the road a little ways and there's a ton of places to pull off to the side of the road. Um, we saw people, other people were walking their dogs, some people were in the river fishing. So lots of different things that you can do here. Um, but we just grabbed one of those pull-offs and brought General down here so he could get his feet wet. You got to do that once in a while. Because he likes to play too. So he's getting his feet wet. And he's smiling. So we were taking the road back to the campground and Ed saw a sign that said Historic Johnson Farm. So we made a turn and came out here and this is what we found. She said it's the first brick building 
in this county, I guess, that was built back in the 1860s. Pretty awesome. There's the front of the house. Um, they do tours Monday through Friday at 1030. It's only one tour and we were a little late for that today. Um, so we can't go in the building. But still a pretty awesome building. And here's the back of the house. Um, it's got this kitchen add-on that was put on later. But basically this is a 1869 to 1874 house. So out behind the farm, um, they had a pen with a couple of donkeys in it. And it was interesting because we were walking general around with us, uh, looking at the outside of the farm and the other buildings on the property. And so when general walked up to this pen with the donkeys in it, he crouched down and started barking. And the donkey kind of did the same thing. And it was so cute. I actually thought that they wanted to play with each other which is quite possible, I guess. Um, it but general only barked for, you know, just a couple of seconds and then he kind of sniffed and walked away and lost interest pretty quickly. So <laughs> maybe they did want to play hard saying. So we were at the Johnson's farm and we started taking the highway, you know, back to the campground and came across this other sign that said, Bold Rock Hard Cider. Go down this road. So we did. And this is totally awesome. It looks like a bottling plant, but they've got seating area. So you can sit outside and enjoy your cider. There's a stage. Pretty cool. So they got this food truck out here outside the building. And um, they serve burgers and hot dogs and chicken tenders and all kinds of food there. And um, the green building in the back, there's a gift shop inside and like another bar and restaurant area. And then they've got all this seating area outside here for you to enjoy your, your burger. So Ed and I picked one day to have his and hers adventures. Um, so what I picked out for mine was uh, the Biltmore's Homespun in Biltmore Homespun Industries. And it, it was an actual commercial company that Mrs. Vanderbilt started back in the early 1900s because she couldn't find a good quality wool. So she did the research that was necessary, found the people to help her get everything accomplished. And she started Biltmore Homespun Industries to make wool. And this wool was actually purchased by several of the presidents. And they actually created special colors for some of these presidents uh, that wanted particular colors. And uh, this industry ran until I think like the 1950s or 1960s maybe. Um, it ran several years under her guidance. So pretty interesting. And they have a museum set up that has information about all of the equipment that, that was used in the wool making process. So um, you're going to see some pictures here about that equipment. And right next to the Biltmore Industries, uh, Biltmore Homespun Industries was a small car museum. So while I was touring um, the Homespun Museum, Ed was touring the car museum and uh, he was actually allowed to take General in the car museum with him. So uh, that was pretty cool. And both of these places were free to get into. And uh, after Ed toured the car museum with General, he walked him around the property. So uh, you're going to see some pictures of the Grovewood Gallery and the Grove Park Inn. And uh, this was all in that area. The Grove Park Inn is, is pretty famous. It's a very interesting architecture
so we decided to head up the Blue Ridge Parkway since we missed some of it uh, on our way into Asheville. And the, the Blue Ridge Parkway Visitor Center, which is just to the east side of Asheville, um, they had like a gift shop and a, a big building and there was a trail um, leaving right from the parking lot. And uh, we wanted to get General his walk, so we decided to take that trail. Pretty cool walk, 1.2 miles. It was in a loop, um, so it crossed over the road, went up the road on the other side, and then crossed under the road through a tunnel. But pretty neat walk. The mountains are amazing. Uh, we tried to get up to Mount Mitchell. Mount Mitchell, uh, and we had been there once before. Uh, years ago uh, North Carolina being our home state um, even though we had to travel eight hours to get there because we are it's our home state but we're in, in Kitty Hawk but Mount Mitchell uh, it's an amazing place we tried to get there again but wow what a foggy episode that was <laughs> yes. Craggy Dome Overlook and decided to turn around because we're kind of in the clouds right now. <laughs> and it's raining, so the water's coming down these rocks on the side of the road. And we're going into a tunnel. This was a really cute town, so we wanted to share it with you. They like their bears here. Some are sitting, some are walking, some are standing up. All very cute. 